Welcome to the 2017 East Outreach Program uh, at the Annual Scientific Assembly. I think all of us this year were motivated by the amount of gun violence, the number of active shooter events that affected major trauma centers and communities all over the country. Um, one of the themes of this year's meetings is firearm injury violence and prevention. And I think what you're going to see today is that our outreach efforts been tailored to match that theme. What this course teaches is how to apply tourniquets, how to stop the bleed, how to apply direct pressure so that we can get these patients from the field to our trauma centers where we can then definitively take care of these injuries. The, the idea is to save lives in the field and give these patients a chance. The goals of this year's outreach program are actually multifaceted. First, all of those that are here as trauma providers, whether physicians, nurses, EMTs, are taking home instructor skill sets to be able to implement the Stop the Bleed program nationwide. We have police officers, medics, and even lay people from the hotel, from the surrounding environment that will be taking the skills needed in the setting of active shooters, in the setting of hemorrhage in the setting of any injury, now they're going to know the basic skill set to be able to stop that bleeding at the site of injury and hopefully save a life. What we're doing today is an active shooter simulation both with law enforcement here in Fort Lauderdale as well as with the community. There's multiple active shooter events that occur in the United States on an annual basis. How the community and law enforcement and medical specialties respond to these is critically important, the potential survival of the victims of these events. We need people to understand that the police aren't going to be the first ones here per se, it's going to be uh, the public. So the public, the more education we get out to the public and how to handle these situations, what to do, and to treat people with the tourniquets, the quick clots, the, the bandages that they're being given out here today and what they're being taught, and to really apply that uh, if, if, God forbid, they're having a situation like this. So the Stop the Bleed training, which is the put pressure, apply a tourniquet, etc., is vitally important. It's the new CPR. Somebody can exsanguinate or bleed to death from an extremity wound or from a different wound in a matter of minutes. If you, as a civilian, can do something about that, you can save a life. Trauma is changing, and, and the hot spots in trauma care are changing, so now it's bleeding. This is East responding to the need to educate the community and community providers about bleeding control. People are bleeding to death and, and where they bleed to death is not in the hospital in general. Where they bleed to death is out wherever they are and happen to get injured. Uh, as we saw in Fort Lauderdale recently at the airport, at the shopping mall, uh, it, it may not be where there is a doctor in the area and we need to train everybody to be first responders to control hemorrhage. And it is our hope that through projects like these, we can, we can bring this training to the community and, and try and touch lives, save lives, and, and do anything to provide the community with, with the skills necessary to get these patients to us. The reality is when we get in within the walls of the trauma center, we have every tool, every skill, all the machinery that we need. But if we are able to, to implement practices that can, can save lives, so that, that can potentially get these patients from the scene to us, then we give them a better chance. I think every community, unfortunately, in today's world has to be ready for this. Uh, the other part is you, you know these events are happening, you never know where, but you never think it's going to be you. So you won't be prepared to respond unless you've trained for it, unless you've anticipated it, and unless you're ready and, and you have that training as a background and then you can implement that. And what you're seeing here is a, a, a complete change in the way we deliver emergency care. This is putting emergency care in the hands of the citizen, of the person who's right at the scene of wounding, at the moment of wounding. When you talk about bleeding, you talk about seconds, maybe minutes, much longer than it takes for an emergency team, be it law enforcement or EMS or fire, to respond. Action has to be right at the moment, right at the scene. And that's why we need to put bleeding control in the hands of the community. I want to thank you for joining us. Thank you for watching the video of the 2017 East Outreach event, the annual scientific assembly. Here at the Eastern Association for the Surgery of Trauma, we're committed to improving the care of the injured patient. And I think what you've seen today is delivering Stop the Bleed training to a community uh, really makes it a more safe place to live. We are hoping that Hemorrhage control, the bleeding control program, becomes the CPR of the 21st century. Because remember, 
The only thing more tragic than a death in your community is a death that could have been prevented.